Good morning children. Welcome to English class. Today we are going to learn how to divide a sentence into subject and predicate. But before that, let's have a quick recap of sentences and its kinds. First, what is a sentence? I hope you remember. Sentence is a group of words which give you complete meaning or which make complete sense. Now, sentences can be of four major types. The first one is the declarative sentence. A declarative sentence is a statement in which I tell you something. For example, I study in form 6. I love to draw and paint. In these sentences, I am telling you something. So, these are declarative sentences. The second type is the interrogative sentence or question in which I ask you something. And these start with a capital letter and end with a question mark. How are you today? What are you doing? Why are you shouting? All these are interrogative sentences. The third kind is the imperative sentence in which we give command or order, give a suggestion, give advice or make a request. For example, please pass me the salt. Go and sit down. Write neatly. Raise a silent hand. All these sentences also start with capital letter and end with a full stop. Now the fourth type is the exclamatory sentence or exclamations in which we say something with a lot of feeling and emotion. What a lovely dress. What a talented player he is. All these are exclamatory sentences and these start with a capital letter and end with an exclamation mark. Now all these four types you already know. Any of these can be divided into two parts. The subject and the predicate. The subject is the part where we know about who or what we are talking. The second part is the predicate in which we tell you something about the thing or the person we are talking about. The subject is usually a noun or noun phrase or any other word if used as a subject will act as a noun. The predicate includes a verb and some other words Maybe an object, a complement or even an adverbial. Now the thing we or the person we are talking about is the subject. Take an example. Ravi is a clever boy. Now in this sentence whom am I talking about? I am talking about Ravi. So Ravi is the subject. And is a clever boy is what we are telling you about Ravi. So is a clever boy is the predicate. Somya and Maher are my friends. Now in the second sentence we are talking about Somya and Maher. So Somya and Maher is the subject and are my friends is the predicate. Now, this is in a declarative sentence. But if you have a question or an interrogative sentence, then the subject will not be the first word or the first words. A verb will come before the subject. Is Somya your best friend? 
now is comes before somya but somya is the person we are talking about so somya is the subject now we come to the third type which is the imperative sentence in imperative sentence you have commands or request and you think there is no subject for example sit down you will think there is no subject please pass me the salt again we will think that there is no subject here but in these type of sentences the subject you is implied and we don't write it or we don't speak you but it is implied and you have to write you if you get such kind of sentences because the subject is you and sit down or pass me the salt all these words make up the predicate now the last type is the exclamatory sentence now in exclamatory sentences also the subject will be somewhere later on it is not going to be in the beginning it may be in the middle or somewhere last but before the exclamation mark what a lovely dress now in this sentence what are we talking about a dress so the dress is the subject now if you have any of these sentences you can divide them into subject and predicate and when you are dividing a sentence into subject and predicate you have to first see what the sentence or is talking about what thing or about a person so that person or thing is the subject and what we are saying about the thing or the person or the place is the predicate and you have to then divide it into subject and predicate if you get the subject and you are asked to add a predicate to complete the sentence you can have many correct answers i may give you the subject my mother now you are free to add anything and complete it someone may say my mother is a good cook someone may say my mother works in an office someone else may say my mother looks after me and my family very well now all these have been added by you to make complete sentences the predicate has been added by you now sometimes we may give you a predicate and you may have to add a subject like i may give you the predicate is red someone may say my dress is red my car is red my pouch is red again you can have multiple correct answers and you have to add a subject of your choice sometimes you may get a sentence where you have to divide it into subject and predicate then you have to see what kind of sentence is it and then according to that divide it into subject and predicate now please revise all that we have discussed today you can just revise the different kinds of sentences what are the different kinds of sentences declarative or a statement then we have an interrogative sentence or a question imperative sentence commands or requests etc exclamatory sentence or exclamations the imperative sentence and the declarative sentence end with the full stop questions or interrogative end in a question mark and exclamatory sentence end with an exclamation mark 
now we can divide all these into subject and predicate i hope you remember how to divide it properly thank you children